Hello and welcome to this episode of T-Tech. On today's episode, we're going to set up an IRC server on Linux. Now, in this video, I'm using Ubuntu, but this does apply to um, any other distro you might be using. There may be slight differences, but the main idea is the same. So we're going to go ahead, let's log in. And the first thing I want to show you is I did set a static IP address on the server on EMP0S3 and the IP is 192.168.0.253 and um, that's what I set. Now if for some reason you didn't set it during the installation on Ubuntu it's Etsy net plan and in this case it's installer config yaml and then you would set this information here for whatever your interface is. Okay now that that's all done though we want to do a <coughs> sudo app get update and then we want to do app get install inspa ircd and accept it and let it install all right now we want to back up the file and let's do sudo su so we're just root all the time and now we want to back up etsy inspire cd inspire cd.conf i want to back that up to its own working uh, backup. And I want to remove the original just to make things simple to understand. And we're going to make a new one. Just like that. So the first thing we want to tell it is what interface should it listen on. This is XML by the way so you have to have brackets so it understands the format correctly. We want to do bind address equals and then in quotes you can specify your server's static IP, just like this. But to make things simple, I'm going to go ahead and just do an asterisk. And uh, we'll do it just like this. And then this means any interface. For port, we're going to use 6667. This is the standard IRC port for plain text. The encrypted port is usually 6697, but you can use any port. It's just a matter of it using TLS or SSL instead. The last thing is type equals clients. Then have a bracket that matches at the end. That's our bind configuration for our IRC server. The next config is for an administrator. We want to say name equals ttech in this case. The nick is going to be ttech. This is synonymous with the screen name. If you're old enough to remember AIM and Yahoo Messenger, um, that's what <coughs> this is. But IRC predates both instant messaging um, for those clients at least and social media. So this is even older than that. But from there, we want to specify an email address to contact the administrator. We're just going to give a fake one, ttech, some site.com, just for testing. And the last thing we need is a server option here that specifies the server information. So the IRC name of the server when clients connect. So this will be ttech, and the network on IRC to connect to is ttech. And that's how you configure your server. Let's save this file. We're going to do system CTL um, start inspire CD. And then if we do SS LTON, again, if you like the old commands, you can install net tools. But anyway, you should see it listening. And in this case, it's listening on uh, loop back. Now, if this happens to you, um, I wasn't expecting that to happen on this, but it does on uh, this version. Just go ahead and specify that IP instead. So that's how you fix this error. And then simply restart the service. And now it's listening how it should. Now, um, from there, that is our server up and uh, operating. Now we're going to go out and look at IRC clients you can use 
to connect to the server. Once you do that, we're going to verify all this works. So I'll see you in a second. All right, one thing I want to add as well, uh, to make it listen on all interfaces, go ahead and just specify four zeros there, 0, .0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0, and that will do it on the Linux version. BSD version is a little bit different, but anyway. So let's go look at some IRC clients. All right, so the first one to look at is XChat. This is a GUI-based IRC client. It's available for Windows, Linux, and BSD. Real simple, though. All you got to do is download it and double-click and install it, and then you can connect to any IRC server out there, including the one we just made. The uh, other version that's uh, more kind of like a classic one that I actually really like is a command line uh, implementation called IRSSI. Now, this is only command line. There's no GUI to it. Um, so if you like command line versus GUI, you're going to enjoy this one. Um, but anyway, those are our two options. Um, IRSSI, I believe, has a Windows version, and I think XChat works on almost every OS. So you're fine either way, but uh, go ahead and grab your client, and then we'll go back over and test our IRC server. All right, so the first thing we want to do, let's run TCP dump here with a capital A and I. And I want to look at the packets coming into that interface for port 6667. All righty. Now, we're going to open up XChat, and we want to add another network. We're going to call it TTEC, and we want to edit that network we made. And instead of a name, so because you can link the server with an A record in DNS, um, we're just going to say that IP address, so 0253. From there, we're going to go ahead and connect, and then hit OK. Now, that connected us to the server. Now, with IRC, you can give commands to the IRC server you're connected to. You just use a slash in front of the command's name. So I'm going to use join, hashtag, ttech in this case. And what I just did was I told the IRC server to create a channel on itself called ttech. So channels are just like logical groups of users. And you can set topics on channels and talk to those users and whatever you want to do. So that's what I did. This is a channel, and if I do like testing, one, two, three, hit enter, that goes into the channel. And uh, what happens is I can see the testing one, two, three right here because it says priv message ttech testing one, two, three because it isn't encrypted. It's just in plain text. So if I run the command slash admin and tell the server to run that command, nothing comes out in the channel. What does happen is under the server tab, it actually tells us admin, admin contact information. So ttech, the nickname was ttech we put in the email. So that's what that admin does. There's another command that's interesting called user IP. So if we specify that, we specify a username as an argument, and it returns that IP address information. Now, right now, it says unknown command. The reason is, is because if we come into here, we can add that module to our IRC server. So let's add module name equals user IP. That's all we got to add. Save the file. And then we want to restart. And once we do that, we can do slash user IP ttech. And it returns, in this case, my local IP on my network here, 192.168.0.103. So, same thing if you want to enable SSL or TLS, you just enable the OpenSSL module and some parameters with it. But it's very um, easy to customize this IRC server. It's very simple to add things. Now, if you want to change your name, your screen name, tell the server slash Nick as a command. And, like, if I want to change it to um, tech or something, it changes it. If I want to change it back, it changes it back. 
Now, there's also other things in IRC, like registration and stuff. But for a basic IRC server, we don't got to worry about any of that. So that's how we set ourselves up a very basic IRC server on Linux. So I do hope you found this video helpful. And as always, it's been Tyler with T-Tech. Thank you for viewing, and have a very nice day.